A major tip of the cap to the Xavier Musketeers. In the land of Mouseketeers, they are the 2015 Advocare Invitational Champions and certainly the most impressive of this eight-team field here over Thanksgiving weekend. Welcome back inside the HP Fieldhouse alongside Miles Simon. I'm Rich Hollenberg, and my partner is someone who knows a thing or two <laughs> about excellent guard play in tournaments, but this whole tournament was dominated by terrific guards. Yeah, we really had some of the best in college basketball, and one guy that not a people know about, but they will know about after this weekend is Justin Robinson, the young man from Monmouth, has been tremendous all season long. He led Monmouth to a victory earlier this year at UCLA and Pauley Pavilion. He set a tournament scoring record of 77 points and was the MVP. He may be small in stature, but he has a big game. He can do it inside and out. This guy, Scoochie Smith, you know him from the NCAA tournament, and he led the Dayton Flyers a couple of years ago to an Elite Eight finish. But he's dabbing on him. He's knocking down three-point shots. And then Demetrius Jackson, preseason All-ACC guard, leading the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. A lot of talent, a lot of toughness, and a lot of great players at the guard position in this Advil Care Invitational as Demetrius Jackson had a beautiful game. 16 points, six assists in his final game. Here's a look at your Advocare Invitational All-Tournament team. You mentioned Smith. He's on that team along with Trayvon Blewett, Jared Utoff, Jalen Reynolds, and your most valuable player, deservedly so, averaging 25.7 points per game in these three games, Justin Robinson from Monmouth. Well, coaches always tell us before this tournament starts, you learn a lot about your team because you get to play three games in four days. So what coach learned the most about their team here? Well, I think two teams really learned the most about themselves. And I think that was the Monmouth Hawks, that they could really play with anybody across the country. We know they had the early victory against UCLA, but they come in and knock down the Fighting Irish in the first game here. And King Rice's squad is a team that could be dangerous, not only in their conference, but if they're able to get to March, they could be a giant killer with the balance that they have around Justin Robinson. And then the other fact that Avery Johnson comes in as a first yeah. year college head coach. Alabama loses their top three scores from last year. Brett Nobasahan steps up. Shannon Hale, his team plays hard. They play with a lot of energy and it's very infectious. They're an unselfish group. And they come in and get two top 25 wins beating a depleted Wichita right. State. But then they beat a healthy Notre Dame team here on a last second shot. So I think those are positive momentum builders for both of those programs going forward. The Magic Kingdom was magical for the upsets in Thanksgiving week, foot feast week this year. How about next year? Will we see more of that? Well, we've got a star-studded field headlined by Florida, Gonzaga, Iowa State from the Big 12, Seton Hall, Stanford. They'll all be here next year. We hope you will too. And that'll do it for us for the 2015 Advocare Invitational for my broadcast partner, Miles Simon, and everybody at ESPN here in Walt Disney World. I'm Rich Hollenberg saying so long and happy holidays.